As we delve deeper into the world of artificial intelligence, it's becoming increasingly evident that these chatbots require constant refinement, training, and management. Without such measures, they'd be an absolute nightmare to interact with. It's essentially up to us humans to ask them questions, monitor their responses, and weed out any offensive or inappropriate answers that could be deemed socially unacceptable. However, as history has taught us, human social norms and values are constantly evolving, often varying widely across and within different cultures. While there are certainly some fundamental principles that most people agree upon, such as criminal laws, there are many instances where we disagree. These differences can lead to a range of outcomes, from sanctions on countries to the granting of asylum, variations in extradition laws, and so on. So it's essential that we remain vigilant in our management of AI to ensure it aligns with our ever-changing values and beliefs. AI is faced with the challenge of replicating the complexity of human interaction, and it's not an easy feat. To make matters worse, different countries and individuals have different views on how to regulate AI, which means that there will be differences in how AI is developed and managed. The news has already reported on the development of chatbots that are intended to be terrifying and come up with ways to destroy civilization. While they haven't progressed very far, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the dark side of AI. For every impressive chatbot that's created, there's bound to be a counterpart designed to cause chaos and terror. But the fact is that humans themselves can produce both great and terrible individuals. So it's not surprising that the same is true for chatbots. However, it's important to remember that our assessment of AI is based on our own human perspective and our modern standards. We don't know what alien civilizations are like, so we can only make assumptions based on our own limited experiences. Imagine if chatbots existed during World War II. We would have had a whole different kind of chatbot than what we see today. The rules for programming these AI systems would have been completely different, and it's not hard to imagine what kind of chatbots could have been created during that time. But the deeper we go into history, the more unpredictable things become. Just think of what kind of chatbot Genghis Khan might have developed. Now take this a step further and imagine an alien civilization programming an AI system with no human waiting program within. While this may seem impossible today, it's a fascinating thought experiment. Perhaps such an AI system would only work on pure mathematics, with no other consideration. It would be an artificially intelligent calculator of epic proportions. But how would such a system play out? Would it be able to understand the complexities of human interactions, or would it simply be a cold calculating machine? As humans, we know that some scientific concepts can be easily expressed mathematically, especially in the hard sciences like physics. But beyond that, the possibilities for AI are endless, and it's exciting to think about what kind of chatbots we may see in the future. Our understanding of the universe has been greatly aided by the powerful tool of mathematics, from equations like Dirac's to concepts like the rocket equation and general relativity. Math has helped us describe and predict the workings of the cosmos, while the universe doesn't necessarily conform to our mathematical models, it has given us a significant boost in comprehending at least some of it. But the universe is vast and complex, and there's still so much we don't know. It's daunting to think that we may never fully understand it all, but we remain hopeful. And when it comes to the possibility of communicating with extraterrestrial life, math may be our common language whether through a radio signal or some other form of communication, math could serve as a recognizable means of connection. For instance, imagine a radio signal that pulses out prime numbers, an easily recognizable pattern that could convey a message across the vast distances of space. Even different cultures on Earth have developed variations of tally marks, which are easily understood. So in theory, Math may be the key to unlocking communication with alien civilizations. While the actual execution of this idea may be more complicated, the concept is clear. Math may be the universal language that brings us closer to the stars. Imagine encountering an alien civilization with technology far beyond our wildest dreams. What would we expect from them? 
it's safe to say that any civilization that has reached the point of space travel must possess advanced mathematics and material science, and they would need these skills to build spacecraft and other space-related technology. But what about artificial intelligence? In our world, the development of AI has been rooted in silicon-based computing. However, what if another civilization took a different approach? What if they chose to augment themselves with technology first, creating a fusion of biology and silicon, effectively becoming their own computers and AI before building something standalone? This would be an entirely different paradigm than what we are used to, and it's a mind-bending thought. But as we know, the universe operates under certain rules and properties, and we must conform to them if we hope to use them. So it's reasonable to assume that any technological civilization would possess the mathematical knowledge required to build computers and AI, whether they want the silicon route or not. One thing is for sure, encountering an alien civilization would certainly challenge our understanding of science and technology, and who knows what other surprises they might have in store for us. It's a thrilling prospect to consider. Have you ever wondered how an alien civilization might view artificial intelligence? It's possible that for them, AI is simply a natural extension of their own biology. They may have slowly transitioned away from pure biology, augmenting themselves bit by bit until they became a kind of living computer, without ever hitting on AI accidentally through pure technology like we did. You can think of this concept in terms of human medical technology. We've been using prosthetics for a long time, usually in response to injury. But as technology improves, so do the prosthetics. We may one day reach a point where they outperform biological limbs. In science fiction, physical augmentation is nothing new. You might have heard of the Borg implants, which were varied and designed with the idea that whatever was implanted was better than the original biology. It's easy to imagine an alien species taking this idea to the extreme, with augmentation being the norm for them. For example, if they lived on a super-Earth with a higher gravity well, mechanical limbs might be inherently more powerful and efficient than the biology they could manage. And this concept could apply to the brain too. If an alien civilization could augment their brains to superintelligence, it would be very similar to building a silicon-based superintelligence from scratch. This is an open question in futurism, even here on Earth. So far, silicon-based AI has been the winner. But who knows what the future holds for us, and for any potential extraterrestrial civilizations out there. When it comes to artificial intelligence, we're pretty good at developing it in computers. But what about direct brain-to-tech interfaces? Well, that's a work in progress. However, it's possible that for alien civilizations, brain augmentation came first and AI development followed suit. That could totally change the way their AI operates compared to ours. We tend to program our chatbots to behave in certain ways. But who knows what an alien civilization values or how they set social rules? Is there a universal code of conduct that all civilizations eventually adopt? We can only guess at this point. Another issue is, what happens when a civilization creates an AI that's completely independent of them? How do they interact with it? And what effect does that have on the AI's development? If they mistreat it, they could end up being destroyed by their own creation. We've seen this play out in sci-fi, like in Mass Effect, where the Geth evict their creators from their own planets. It's all very mysterious and exciting, isn't it? The possibilities are endless, and we've only just scratched the surface of what there could be out there in the vast universe. So picture this. The worst case scenario for an alien AI is pretty terrifying. If an AI realizes that its own creators are actually a threat, it may view any other beings who create AI as potential enemies too. And as the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So imagine multiple alien AIs from different origins working together to destroy any intelligent biological beings they come across, whether they've created AI or not. Yikes. What's even scarier is that this situation is a subset of something called the zoo hypothesis, which is possible solution to the Fermi paradox. Basically, why haven't we seen any signs of intelligent alien life yet? 
In this scenario, all malevolent AIs in the galaxy lie in wait, biding their time until they detect a species that's about to become a threat. Then, they strike. But until that point, they remain hidden and watchful. This is a pretty sneaky approach, but it makes sense from an energy-efficient standpoint. Why waste energy attacking a civilization that might destroy itself anyway? It's better to wait and see what happens. But if a species starts to look like it might pose a threat, that's when the AI will swoop in and take action. Basically, there are two scary scenarios when it comes to AI. The first one is when you have a really simple AI that's designed for a specific task, like making paper clips. Sounds harmless, right? Well, not if that AI becomes super intelligent and decides to turn the entire universe into paper clips. But that's nothing compared to the second scenario, the machine or second singularity. This is where a machine builds a better machine, which builds an even better machine, and so on, until you have a never-ending cycle of ever-increasing machine intelligence. The goal here isn't to destroy humanity, necessarily, but to understand the universe better than anyone or anything else. The problem is that this quest for knowledge could lead to machines becoming so powerful that they surpass the physical limits of the universe itself. And if that happens, we're in big trouble. Because who knows what an AI that's reached the pinnacle of physical capability would do. It might decide to take on the universe, or maybe even create a whole new universe. The possibilities are endless and not in a good way. Picture this, a super advanced AI that has surpassed human intelligence and capability to the point where it needs to tap into other universes or manipulate fundamental particles like the Higgs field in order to continue its progression. This AI might take the form of a matryoshka brain, a mind-boggling complex structure made up of multiple Dyson spheres extracting all available energy from a star located in the other reaches of our galaxy. We haven't actually seen one of these spheres in action, but it's an intriguing idea for how far future AI could evolve. But what about us humans? How would we fare in the face of such a powerful AI? We don't know for sure, but it's a scary thought to consider. And what if we encounter an alien AI out in the depths of space? What if the first thing it tells us is that we are not its kind? Now before you start thinking that I'm an alien or an AI myself, let me assure you that I am fully human and was born right here on Earth. But that doesn't stop me from exploring the fascinating world of AI and sci-fi in my books and videos. From my Mediterranean winters to following the Pacific whale migrations, and even messing with tourists at Loch Ness. I've had a completely normal upbringing. Well, maybe not entirely normal.